So what is Next.js and why could learning Next.js be a good idea and why could Next.js in general be helpful to us as a React developer? If we visit Next.js.org, the official Next.js website, we learn that Next.js is the React framework for production. Okay, so that sounds like a good argument. We all want to build production apps, right? So Next.js is certainly helpful then. But wait a second, what exactly does this mean? So Next.js calls itself a React framework for production. And that name makes a lot of sense because Next.js offers a lot of features that make building large scale production ready React apps easier. But I personally, also like to call Next.js a full stack framework for React.js. And it's the full stack part which I wanna highlight here. But I will come back to that. Let's first of all focus on the framework part. Isn't React.js itself already a framework or a library? Well, indeed it is. React is labeled a JavaScript library for building user interfaces. And that means that it's a third party package, which you can add to your front end projects. So it's all about client side JavaScript code in the end. And you can use react there to build interactive user interfaces. And it's a library that makes building complex user interfaces way easier than it would be with just JavaScript. I got separate courses and videos on react where I explain why react is awesome. So I'll not focus on this here. So React already is such a library and it's called a library because in its core, it's really only focusing on that user interface part on components, state, props. If you want to build large scale React projects, you typically also need to add extra libraries for routing, maybe libraries that help you with authentication and things like that. Now, Next.js is labeled a framework and a framework that builds up on React. Now, the difference between a framework and a library in the end is that a framework is bigger. It has more features than a library. It's focusing on more things instead of just a single thing. And it's also giving you clear rules, a clear guidance on how you should write your code, how you should structure your files and so on. And all these are things which Next.js does as you're going to learn throughout this course. But it's also a framework building up on another library already, on React, because it enhances React, you could say. It makes building large scale React apps easier. And that's the part where we're back on this for production part here. Next.js has the goal to make the life easier for you as a React developer. And it builds up on React, it enhances React by adding many core features which you have to add to React apps on your own otherwise. Things like routing, but also many other things. And I'll come back to that in just a second. And we're going to dive into the key features uh, added by Next.js. But Next.js simply adds a lot of features to your React app. They then are there out of the box once you start using Next.js. And it therefore ensures that you don't have to reinvent the wheel as often. You don't have to add as many third party libraries to solve common problems which you need in bigger apps and which you typically need to solve when building real production React apps. And that's why Next.js is called a framework, because it has a lot of features, clear rules, why it's a framework for React, because it builds up on React, it enhances React, it uses React, you still write React code, you still build React components, but it's a framework for production because it adds all those missing features which you typically do need to add to React apps to really prepare them for production and to solve common problems. And with that, let's now take a closer look at the actual features added by Next.js so that we understand where it helps us exactly and why using it is a great idea and makes our life easier.